Yo, welcome back to RNDM Architects. Today we have another CV2 tutorial for you. And today we're on the moon. This is the moon base that they built so that we can breathe and everything here. But anyway, my friend Joku, you can follow her. That's her username right here. She built a really cool map called Encelados that was featured last week. That it's a lot of moon. It's not this moon from Earth. That's a moon from the planet Saturn, which is really, really far away. But they also have low gravity there. And come over here. Come over here. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make low gravity with CV2. Follow me. Alright, so I'm gonna do the same thing we did last time. We're gonna start from the beginning. We need a jump. And that's our role. We're using CV1 here, so this is not gonna work for Rooms 2.0. I'm sorry. And I'm gonna show you right now what it looks like on a screenshot. Alright, so the only thing we're changing here is the jump height. So how high can a person jump? That applies for everybody in the room. So you just apply this role to everybody that comes in here because we want them to jump a certain height, right? Now, we have this here that we saw last time. We get the local player, we get the position. Deprecated just means that this chip is like an old version of it. Don't worry about that. But you can just use the normal get position, right? And then we have the get velocity. This one's new. We didn't use this one last time. But get velocity just tells you how fast the player is moving, right? And we're gonna split those into the vector split again. So we get the coordinates, X, Y, Z. And again, we're only using the Ys, right? Now, we're going to want to know two things about this. Uh, how fast, because remember, the one on the, on the bottom is the velocity of the player. So we want to know their velocity on the y-axis, right? And we want to know if it is faster than zero. That means that if they are actually like jumping or falling, you can use the other chip that we had last time and completely change that one into is player jumping or falling because this is an old way to figure out if somebody was jumping or falling right if you don't know what i'm talking about go back to my previous video check that out and now on this one we have the position which again we want to know on the y-axis so how high or low are they in the room if they are greater or equal than 2.4 that means if you at any point go above 2.4 meters, then this is going to turn out a yes, right? Again, remember that our ground is usually at zero. We try to, at least for these examples, it's obviously like a great idea to do that. This time, instead of the equals, because that chip didn't exist back then, we have an and. So we're going to plug those two, you know, our old version of his player jumping was falling and to know if they're above 2.4, if both of them are true, so basically it works kind of like the equals did on that other example, it will give us an equals for if chip. So it's, it's very similar to what we were doing before. On this one though, we have a 30 hertz. So it's just an event, configure it, you get your 30 hertz. We are using the delta time for a multiplication over here. We're multiplying the delta for 9.81. This is really important. This is actually the actual gravity on the moon, on Earth's moon, right? So that's why we're using this number. On Enceladus, we use a different number to simulate a different type of gravity. So you can change this one and you play around with it and you'll discover that it doesn't feel different, right? But the important here is the delta time. So I'm gonna turn the camera around again. The delta time is a weird concept. Basically, every time you play a video game, there's a couple of things that happen. Right? It, it matters a lot if your computer or your phone or your VR or whatever, how, how fast, how much power it's got, how much frames you're going to get. You know, if you got a better graphics card, you get, you know, a lot of frames. If you got a really old graphics card, maybe you don't get so many frames. But another thing that matters in here is networking. Networking is basically when you're connected to the internet, your game is sending information to the server or to the game. And then the game is sending information back to you about what happens. So like if you're playing with a friend, the server is telling you where your friend's standing, if, if they're jumping, if they're, if they're talking, like all that stuff gets sent through the network, right? Through the interwebs. And Delta time is a thing that is used in programming, so also here in CV2, to know 
the last frame. So it basically will update in every frame that happens, no matter how fast or how slow your game is running. And so that way it will know like how long, how far you moved, you know, how long it was and all that stuff. It, it, it's kind of like we're going to maintain a standard for all the players in the room. So like if you're falling and we use the delta time, you will always fall at the same speed because we're using the delta, no matter if your connection to the internet is low or your game is not, you know, your PC is not super powerful and it's not giving you like a lot of frames, the delta time is gonna help fix that, right? So we're gonna multiply, we're gonna grab this delta time from the 30 hertz receiver. We wanna multiply it by the gravity of the moon. And then from here, wait, we need one more thing right here. There, there another vector. So we want this vector to create is different than the split. Remember the split gives you a vector from something that vector to create lets you create a vector from nothing. It's just a coordinate. So it's like a point in space. But this time we're not using it as a point in space. We're using it as a direction, right? Because we have a Y of minus one. That means we're going down. That's a minus Y on, or minus one on the Y. So now we have this add velocity here. And there are a couple of things that we need to do. Obviously, this is going to be plugged to the if and then. So if the two are true, then do that. Velocity add. We're going to have the target. The target, like last time, is going to be our local player because that's who we are trying to give the low gravity effect to, right? And then our speed is going to come from that multiply. So that's the delta. Every frame we want to move at 9.81. That makes sense it doesn't make sense it was kind of tricky to figure out but it works just trust me on this one guys just trust robbie all right thank you and then we have the direction the direction is why we have this vector tree create you could do like other things like there's a vector actually a prop that you can put and just point it down or whatever this is easier just try to use this this is so much easier to read for people and it will always be precise because the vector you know the grid is kind of funky sometimes and whatnot and now we have the maximum speed we have we want it at 1.6 that means that no matter this speed we're gonna add velocity going down but then we're gonna stop you from being faster than 1.6 right so when you go up the circuit lets you jump like normal Right? Like if I put my camera over here, I'm gonna back out. And if I jump, bloop, but then you're gonna see me, I come down slow, right? And that's the whole point. There's a lot of all the systems that you can find that will do similar things uh, that will let you float or will do zero gravity. And you can just like, you know, bounce around and whatnot. This one's a bit different because the way this one works is that it will let you jump at a normal speed, like, how you would with your own strength of your of your both legs if you were on the moon you know you push yourself up with the jump but then the gravity is different than it would be on earth so you would come down slowly and that's the difference for this one i hope you guys like it remember to subscribe you help me out a lot if you subscribe check out my ko-fi here on the side if you want to support me if you like my tutorials if you like my rooms if you want to support me to be able to create more for you i really appreciate you guys and please go check out joku's room and celados i'll put it right here again and see you guys next week ciao